final variables are absolutely final. They are constants. They cannot be changed. And so that's very important to remember that um, if you create a variable, like let's say I just want to create an integer variable, and I'm going to create the number pi. Uh, it's not a misspelling, of course, it's the number math, uh, the math number pi, you know, 3.14. And let's say I don't want my program to ever, ever be able to change that. I just want it to be a constant and never change. Now, as I can I'm reminded here that I can't create an integer that's a decimal because that creates issues in memory. Its decimals are called doubles. So now I'll change this to double to change the error there. And uh, next, uh, let's say I don't want anybody to be able to change pi because if you remember correctly, when I output pi and I run this, it's going to output 3.14 for me. Uh, but if I want to make some changes to pi, there are some ways to do it. Of course, I can set pi equal to another number, pi equals uh, 7 if I want. Now remember that pi is technically defined as a double here, and then I've changed it to an integer, but it's going to be 7.0 when I run this because double means it has to be a decimal. Now, that seems kind of ridiculous. I don't want my program or my user or anybody to change what pi is. Uh, and so that's a final variable. If you don't want a variable to ever change, you add the word final in front of it, which means it can never change. So it does, I can add the word final, and it doesn't give me any error here because final is a reserved word. And it just says, hey, I'm going to define pi as a decimal. That's 3.14. And this is final. You cannot change it. So later in my program, if I decide to change pi to 7 again, notice how I'm going to end up with a lot of errors and warnings popping up over here. It says you can't change pi because you told me that it was a final variable. It could never be touched. So final pretty much just says, hey, whatever variable this is, you can't touch this. You cannot touch pi. So that's really the main meaning of the word final. You add it in front of uh, whatever it is that you want to remain constant and you do not want to ever change throughout your entire class or your entire program.